Yes, guys, welcome for me, Championship Manager 0102. Installing the game. Uh, it's probably a video I should have done ages ago, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm just going to do a real quick video on just installing CM0102. Now, you've got to, you know, I've got to probably have to uh, put a different few perspectives into this because a lot of laptops nowadays don't come with a CD drive. Um, most laptops, uh, if ever you're thinking whatever happened to CDs, well they're pretty much something of the past, but I'm a bit of a dinosaur. So, if you've got a CD, or you've still got a CD drive, or you're using a tower or whatever, chuck your CD in, alright? Chuck your CD in, um, and you will get to the stage that I'm going to come to in a minute. If you're, uh, you've not got a CD drive, or you just uh, choose not to use it, you're going to have downloaded the game. You can download the game legally for free from Manager 0102net And when you download it, you will download what's called an ISO. Now the ISO is this file right here that I'm moving right into the middle of this awful looking desktop, which was not my choice by the way. Um, now Windows 10, uh, I believe Windows 8 as well, don't quote me on that. Windows 10 uh, and 11 I assume, come with an automatic um, built-in virtual drive. Now virtual drive, what that is, is uh, because you don't have a CD drive, um, it's a virtual drive and Windows 10 comes with a virtual one. So if you were to download this ISO, it's called an ISO, um, it's in the shape of a disc and all you do is you double click it or you right click or whatever right, and mount it. That's all you're doing. And what you're doing is it opens up a drive and as you can see, drive there, CM0102. Now this page is the same page that will come up if you put your CD in. If, you, if it didn't automatically come up, double click the CD drive, like as if we've got right there, you know, when it's collapsed and shrunk and so on and so on. So, um, if you haven't, if you're on Windows 7 and you've downloaded the ISO, you're going to need to go and download a, um, a virtual drive software. Now, I, I'm saying that because I've got that on one of the, on my old computers upstairs. I use Virtual Clone. You know, that, that's what I use, Virtual Clone. And um, it's basically, if I download anything that's an ISO on that computer, it will come as an ISO because I've, it automatically um, detects that I've got it in. So Windows 10, you don't need anything on Windows 10. You just need to double click it or right click and it will come up like so. If you, were, uh, if you have two ISOs, you could double click them and you could, it would open up a drive F, G, H, I, J, K, and so on and so on. But you don't need to. But if you do want to take it out, right click the drive and you can um, eject it, okay, like you would if you ejected a DVD. Okay, so this is the page you're at, and now we're going to install the game, and you're going for... Now, a lot of people, I see a lot of uh, screenshots, particularly on Facebook, where someone has opened up this page, right, and uh, they, they double-click on the CM launch icon, the application, and they say, it's not loading, it's not loading. Let's, let, 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 let's show you, yeah? It's not loading, it's not loading. That's because... Um, this isn't a launch game. You need to install the game. Uh, truth be told, I don't know why they've got these here. But these are the items, right? So what you're going to is you are going to setup. You're going to setup. And it's uh, this setup here. If you want to make it easy for yourself, put it in order of applications and go to setup that way. A picture of a little computer. Uh, look, uh, quite a traditional uh, icon, to be honest. Reminds me of the days of Windows 98. Okay. So. Um, Choose your desired um, language. Okay, it does only take a couple of minutes to be honest with you. Like I said, when you're installing, if you've got, a, if you're running off a CD, you're going to see some activity coming off a CD drive, clearly. But obviously, we've got a virtual one. Important notice: you can read, by all means, read the terms and conditions. It's just an important um, license agreement shit. Okay, now. Most people tend to just uh, install it to the default, which is Drive C, Program Files, uh, Change Manager 0102. Okay, which I will do. Now, this next bit is very important because a lot of people they uh, just put in a typical, like so. Okay, I'm going to go back because I don't do a typical. Uh, I don't do a compact. Um, I customize it so I can choose my own. Now, I do this for a couple of reasons, right? Uh, one reason is. I don't want sounds in my CM. Uh, so it sounds like, I mean, you might want to have sounds. Um, I'm not bothered about the history because um, the history is within the game anyway. I don't worry about picture tools. I'm not fussed about picture tools or pictures. I'm not fussed about any of them. 
Now, before I tell you what the quick start, do you remember what a quick start is? It's like a quick start of the game. Do you remember when uh, the demo used to come out? The demo of uh, CM, you get six months. A quick start is like a game already loaded up for you. Now, I think there's a quick start for all the countries. Now, just look how much space is required to install the game. Uh, 613 uh, kilobytes, it's not actually much, but look at quick start and how much, that's, um, how much that occupies. So if I just take that off as well, there you see. And that is it. Now, if you, if, like I say, if you go to uh, typical, it will install it, it will choose it itself. Compact, it will minimize it. So it might not necessarily, so I personally go to custom. People, some people like picture packs. I, I, for me personally, I'm not fussed by any of them. And I also think of space. So it is now just a case of next. Double check that's what's going to go in your control panel. And there you see. Now you can see in the left there, um, in the, the middle bar, the one that's not flashing, you've got your blue, you've got your purple, middle bar, that will be flashing if you are using a CD-ROM drive, if you are. But what that's doing is it's utilising my, um, my virtual drive, as, as we call it. Okay. Okay. And let's hurry this fucker up. Uh, do you want to create a shortcut? No, I don't. You can do. If it's your only CM on your computer, by all means, put one on. Um, if you haven't already got DirectX installed, I would finish and um, do that. It should already be on your computer, though, to be honest with you. That just I don't even know, need to read that shit. I'm sure you've installed Service Pack 3 on your system. That will already be on your computer. Assure, uh, I assure you on that. Okay, so now let's go exactly to where I've just installed that CM. And the reason I didn't put it on my desktop is because I've got multiple installations, as you can see there. Um, you'll get crashes if you um, if you put it on your desktop. So that's the one. And very, very important. I'm sure you will know this. I've mentioned this before. Uh, before you run your game, ensure you are running as an administrator, which, as you can see, it already is. Um, and that's that. And now. Fish bash bosh, let's fire up CM. Now if you've just installed it, right, it will come in full screen and it will bring you straight to um, the settings page. Um, I never play CM in um, in full full screen mode, if I'm truly honest with you. I will move it out of full screen mode. Uh, but this is the ODB as we know it. You can see it's the ODB, top left hand corner, 3.960. Uh, put all desired settings right here. Uh, these make no difference because I've got no background changes on. I, I haven't installed them, same as sound. Um, and that is everything. Oh, Windows. And it will now just adjust it for me. Bang. And there you go. And I can start a new game now if I wish. And that is installing CM0102. It's very, very simple. Um, I'll point something out really, really quickly before I go any further, right? This is something that's come up a lot, and I have got another video on this, in all honesty. But, uh, where have I just put my fucking drive? Uh, the reason I'm going to show this very quickly, this catches a lot of people out. So, do you remember what I said about ejecting, um... Where did I eject it? Where the fuck did I eject it? Right, you remember what I said about ejecting your disc, you know? You shouldn't really ever need to eject it. So as it stands, I've got nothing in a CD drive. I've got nothing as a CD drive whatsoever. So I'm now going to load. Shit! I'm going to load up my game. And what I'm going to do very, very quickly, I'm actually going to load up one of my other CMs, and I can just show you very quickly because uh, I've already got games on my other. On my, I have to start a new. No, no, I don't need to do that shit. I can scrap that shit. Scrap that shit. So let's just, uh, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to run this? That's because you've got run as administrator on. Okay, let's go straight to start a new game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's put that on there. Right, and now let's go to start a new game. We're on a default speed now, let me point out. I've got no, I've got no nix patch or anything like that using it. And... There. Now, people say, oh, why does it say that? Why is it saying that? It's because, A, you've not got your CD in if you're using a CD drive. If you've not got your CD in, it's going to come that up. It's going to bring that up. Alternatively, right, if you just double-click that, that comes up.
it up again. And hey presto. So that is installed in CM. I, was, I will point to the account right that if I was to reboot my laptop now, uh, for whatever reason, um, you have to double click the ISO again to put it back in. It's basically, when you close your laptop down or reboot it, it, it empties all your, your, your CD drives. Okay, so that is that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got anything you want to add, guys, do let us know. Share it with us. Till next time, take it easy from me.